Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my first episode of the highlights of my collection. <coughs> now, <clears throat> for centuries and centuries and centuries, people have collected anything that they found interest. Doesn't matter if it's art, Beanie Babies, football cards, basketball cards, Pokemon cards, anything. <clears throat> people can collect women, uh, celebrities, uh, underwear and they can have highlights of that yeah i, I know it's that one was a silly uh example but i digress <coughs> it is still a collection no matter what it is so <coughs> i am doing uh just i gonna be showing about well just small parts of my collection on each episode and we'll see what you guys think <coughs> Now, up first, <clears throat> uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, Todd McFarlane uh, art, as we call the Todd Father. Spawn number nine, first appearance, uh, first appearance of Angela, the newsstand edition. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to, uh, when I first got, when I got back into collecting again, I was trying to do cover sets of uh literally almost every book that i got and this was one of them <clears throat> and it got to the point where i was getting overwhelmed so i decided to stick with uh one character and just not get in over my head with it <clears throat> <clears throat> but I tell you, uh, the hunt for the books or anything you collect, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Up next we have Classic Lady Death, Adam Hughes art. Gotta love Adam Hughes. No matter if it's Lady Death, Vampirella, or whatever other characters he's... Uh, collaborated with and on <clears throat> gorgeous gorgeous art been a fan of Lady Death for you know back in the day kind of got back into it but I don't know <clears throat> up next again we have more Todd Father art Todd, this Batman I don't know if um, he did any other uh, Batman covers but this is Norwegian edition of uh, Batman. I don't know the American number uh, for this issue, but so this one was a lucky buy. <clears throat> I was uh, fortunate enough that a friend sold it to me. Really, really good, really good find. Up next, we have a classic giant size x-men number one this is the german edition i am not fortunate enough to own the american one yet because it costs so damn much and it's hard to obtain the originals when you don't have a steady income and you have crap for money but even though i have crap for money and a shitty income i've been able to get some beautiful books for my collection and a good size collection at that too up next we have Norwegian edition of Batman Adventures number 12 a good friend of mine knows that I've been uh, hunting this book for quite some time love to get the American one but he he had got the Norwegian one actually a couple copies and he gave me this one for my birthday last year. Proud of this book. <clears throat> Love it. Hoping to get the American one. <clears throat> but as they say, the hunt still continues. Last but not least, and I've said, uh, I've told you about this book before, but I have to do it again. The first book I've had graded from my own collection, Edder Coffin number four, 1988. 
Norwegian edition of the first appearance of the uh, Venom symbiote. As you can tell, I, I, actually, as I said before, uh, the cover is different from the American, where the American and the whole complete background is orange with uh, the characters and every, uh, everything in the background. Spider Man in the foreground with the alien symbiote, that which later becomes Venom in Amazing Spider Man 300. <clears throat> Had this sent in to be signed and graded by uh, Zach Bating Shader. Took a while to uh, get it back. But it was worth it. I mean, this is just such a. Granted, it's a foreign edition. It is a monumental book to have signed and graded. It's also a book that you should just have in your collection. And yeah, <clears throat> so this. This is my, well, is my pilot episode for the highlights of my collection. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notification. And as always, man, support your LCS, support your local artists, and keep on collecting. Peace.